Hello all, welcome to this video. In this demonstration, we will delve into the determination of the energy band gap of a diode. The experimental setup that we will use in this experiment consists of a DC power supply, a diode, a thermometer to measure the temperature, an emitter to measure the reverse saturation current, an heating arrangement and a voltmeter to measure the voltage that we have applied. So the saturation current IS of the reverse biased diode depends on the temperature of the junction diode and it is given by IS is equal to A NN EVN plus NP EVP e to the power minus EG upon KBT. Here NN and NP are the concentrations of the electrons and the holes. Vn and Vp are the drift velocities of the electrons and the holes and A is the area of the junction. If we take log of both the sides and rearrange the terms, we get log of Is is equal to C minus Eg upon 2.303 kBT. In this equation, Kb is Boltzmann constant and its value is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per Kelvin and with the conversion of energy from joules to electron volt we get log of Is is equal to C minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Eg upon 2.303 into 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 into T. If we further simplify this equation we get log of Is is equal to C minus 5.036 into 10 to the power 3 into Eg upon T. This equation represents a straight line having a negative slope for a graph drawn between log of Is and 10 to the power 3 upon T. Thus, by knowing the slope of the line, Eg can be determined by using the formula Eg is equal to minus slope upon 5.036. As earlier mentioned, we have a graph of negative slope. So that negative sign of the slope will cancel out with this minus sign and we get the energy band gap of the semiconducting diode material. While performing the experiment, we will first increase the temperature of the diode by the heating arrangement. Once the temperature rises to let us say 80 degrees Celsius, we will switch off the heating and allow the cooling start. We will note down the values of saturation current while cooling. The saturation current can be recorded in the steps of 3, 4 or 5 degrees Celsius decrease in the temperature. As can be seen in this observation table, we have recorded the saturation current values in the steps of 5 degrees Celsius. In the next column, the values of temperature in Kelvin needs to be inserted by adding 273 in each value of temperature in degree Celsius. Next, we divide 1000 by this value of temperature in Kelvin and take log of saturation current value. So, you get an observation table something like this. From this observation table, we need to plot a graph. All the points of taking 1000 by T on X axis and log of Is on Y axis will appear something like this. From this graph, we take the slope by plotting the points X1 and Y1 and X2, Y2 on the graph. And then we find out the slope. Slope is equal to Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1. The graph that we plot will appear something like this and by finding the equation and slope we will find out the energy band gap value. This experiment particularly gives the value of activation energy. The activation energy is the energy required to move the electron from the valence band to the conduction band allowing it to conduct electrical current. There are many other sophisticated methods to calculate the energy band gap. Optical absorption spectroscopy using tau plot and photoluminescence spectroscopy and many other such techniques are used to determine the energy band gap of semiconducting materials. 
Thank you for joining us in this video. Stay tuned for more educational content coming your way.